Hey everyone, it's Matt for Sneak Kids 101, back with another sneaker review. Today I have a, a little different sneaker review, kind of like the same other Jordan I had. Today I got a new Jordan. I got the Jordan Flight 45 High Max. I believe this is a new shoe. Don't quote me on that or anything. I haven't really looked on the release or anything, but I found this shoe. It was about, the retail was about 150 and I got it in the Game Royal White and Team Orange colorway. So let's get a good shot on the uh, tag right there. Size 12. Sorry if it looks a little blurry. So pretty much got the, you got the same box as anything with the White Jumpman. White Jumpman and same black box. This is a massive box actually. This is a lot bigger than the other Jordan I got. Um, mostly because it's a high, high ride. So, taking the shoe out, this is the first time I've actually looked at the shoe, so it's going to be a little bit different. This is the Jordan Flight 45 High Max, size 12. Let's get a quick 360 to that sexiness. Air on the back with your jump man. Now, this isn't a retro shoe, or obviously you should know that. This kind of commemorates back in, I believe it was 94-95, when um, Michael Jordan wore the jersey number 45, as you can see from the name. So he, um, so this commemorates it. He didn't wear this back in 94-95, so this commemorates it. He wore a different sh uh, retro, I can't, I, I can't remember. I think it was like 10, don't, don't quote me on that again. Getting into the shoe, so it didn't take him long um, also to prize roll back to 23, so he was just 45 for that season 90, from 94 to 95. He got his uh, jersey number back after that. So the upper is a combination of full grain leather, which kind of runs through the whole shoe. And it goes up to the, uh, I believe these are the ankle protectors. They're actually pretty soft and cushioned. It's a rich synthetic outfitted with exceptional performance system that provides maximum ventilation. Again, right here. And you can see the hints with the stitching of the orange and of course the bottoms. Actually, let's get to the, let's get to the bottoms first. You got this uh, pure thing midsole with a full length um, air bubble 360 kind of like the uh, what do you call it the LeBron 9 lows pretty much the same kind of air bubble you can see that um, looking on the bottom it's a sports it's a it's a tested sports specific pattern so it's not like uh, regular shoes with your white jump man right here it's got a really nice pattern actually I really like the pattern it's kind of simple yeah it looks good if you look um, it's a pretty heavy shoe. It's about 17.8 ounces, so it's uh, it's pretty heavy. Because um, it's probably I think one of my heaviest shoes I've got. I'm um, going on to the back. You got you got your jump man with the air. So I believe this material right here, really smooth material. I believe this is uh, new buck. Um, if it's suede, I usually get those confused. So um, I believe it's new buck though. Um, if you if you if it's suede, uh, just comment it and tell me, um, tell me that I'm wrong, and I'll go ahead and put an annotation. But I'm pretty sure it's suede, and it runs all the way from the t from the sides of the toe box, all the way around up to the back around the air. And I believe these are lace holders. These things on the side, which are really nice. I really like that touch. It's really nice. So you get the same kind of tongue as the Flight 23 RSTs with your, hold on, which is an orange, it says Flight in orange with white Jumpman. Now this is a really cool feature, I didn't notice this. It's orange insole by the way. I believe it's removable. You can see it's like a little picture of someone. I have no idea who that is. I have to look that up. I didn't see. And to do that says caramel. So that's really nice. Really nice shoe. Um, you don't come with any extra laces, obviously. I really liked... If they came with orange laces, I would have been sold automatically with this. Um, oh. <laughs> good reflexes. Um, so, you got your pull tab on the back. It's got an orange 
interior with your orange stitching again and then it's got that little hint of orange in the back so they really hint the orange a lot in it it's really nice of course a rubber midsole by the way white rubber midsole let's not forget about that so it pretty much wraps up this shoe it's a really um, simple designed shoe it says caramel by the way this little picture of this dude says caramel or caramel I have no idea so let's get the other one out. Maybe the other one has something different. Didn't really check that. Like I said, didn't check this. Nope, these are definitely the same on the inside. So let's get it side by side. Let's get the side again. Sorry, it's kind of a small space, so I'm too much to work with. Hoping that we can move to a different location soon. Not like a warehouse or anything, just like, you know, a better place. Let's get the soles kind of together. So it's a really nice casual shoe. Uh, I believe you can do basketball in it, but uh, just, I wouldn't do it. Um, I'm not saying if you want to do basketball in them. Really nice colorway. Uh, don't forget in the link, um, in the description, there'll be a link to the shoe. They have a bunch of other colorways. They have about five to six colorways, so that's good. Um, this was the most popping, eye popping to me. I really like this because I was like, ooh, you know, the orange and blue works perfect together. So I really like that. Um, so yeah, perfect shoe. I'd say this is actually better than the Flight 23 RST, um, just in the colorway and the build. And oh, man, that that new buck or that suede is just so I don't even know. It's just so soft, man. You never know. Got the orange. So let's get one last 360 with the shoe on its own. And then we'll go ahead and end it. So I, I'm going to do a on-fit review, but that might be in a little while. Definitely, um... I do have a shout-out I was going to say, but I totally forgot the dude's name. I'm sorry about that. I'll put you in the annotation. Um, so shout-out to... And there's your name. So pretty much... There you go. There's my shout out for you. Go check out his channel. Go sub to him. He's got some pretty nice stuff. And I will see you all next time. I'm thinking about getting the new uh, Kobe 7 um, Cheetahs. So, um, if that works out, hopefully. Retail is one, $150 for these. A little overpriced for my area, but you know, when you when this shoe's that great, you, know, you just gotta get it. So if you like this shoe, definitely go pick it up if you have the money to. Um, so yeah, it's a great Jordan shoe, I have to say. It's not, maybe even better than some retros, who knows. So I will see you all later. It's been Rap Sneak Kids 101.